Hello YouTube, how are you? This is the Pipe Monk, and today we are going to uh, open a package, yet another package opening. We are going to talk about a smoky bastard, and we are going to talk about GLPs' upcoming tobacco, and we are going to talk about cigars. A little bit of that. Anyways. I'm not going to do a 15 minute video if nobody's going to see it. So I'm going to keep it short and sweet. Maybe around 8 minutes. So this package arrived today from the US uh, by a very good friend of mine. He, I know him through the Pipes Magazine forum. His name is Timothy Lamprey. And along with it came his visiting card. So a little shameless plugging for my friend who was, you know, caring enough to send me four ounces of uh, smoky bastard so a shout out to pipesmagazine.com forum friend um, rsuinv is his uh, forum name and his name is timothy lompre he is a cfi cfei cvfi uh, which basically means i don't know no, I don't know. He is a fire and explosion investigator. And he is also a pro board certified hazmat technician. You should, if you require any kind of services which has to deal with um, fires, explosions, stuff of that kind, you should go to his website, lampreinvestigations.com. I'll have put a link in the description below. He is a licensed uh, investigator in the state of Nevada, Arizona, California, and Utah. And he is also NFPA 1033 and 921 compliant. And you can scan this QR code from this video. Here we go. I think that's enough. So, really thank you, Timothy, to actually send me smoky bastard let's give it a review i've already opened the package i've been smoking it since a few days to actually get a taste of it i've smoked it wet i've smoked it really dry i've smoked it semi-dry i've smoked it in two different pipes and the result always is astounding anything uh if i say anything a little bit criticizing about the tobacco is because of my my fault it's, the tobacco is delicious so this is smoky bastard it is a Latakia, Virginia, Red Virginia, Dark Fire, Kentucky, Burley, Stoved Black Virginia, Oriental, and a 16 year old Scotch Lagavulin blend. Uh, very, very nice. I've taken it out and it's been drying in this steel bowl for a while. It's still a little wet. I like lettuce here to be a little bit crispy so it doesn't you know, gurgle the pipe. Uh, please, uh, if you want to know the story behind this tobacco, he has dedicated it to his father. Basically, Smokey was his father's uh, uh, nickname, and uh, basically, uh, he's a fire investigator, so it suits him. Smokey! Bastard, ladies and gentlemen, please try it. Uh, the recipe is on pipesmagazine.com forum. I'll include a link of that too, so you can go and check it out yourself. Uh, moving on, I want to talk about another tobacco. It's called the Hobbit Sweet, and lots of people have been talking about it. Uh, older veteran pipe smokers know about it. It's in production since 1973. It's a really nice tobacco. The only downside is they don't ship it to India. And um, my fiance doesn't have the time to actually. She works two jobs. So I can't really, you know, it'll be bad of me to ask her to do something especially like that for me. So if any one of you wants to send me the Hobbit Suite, I'll be more than, will be more than welcome to send. And of course, you know, I request you to send you your address also so I can you know send you something nice in return okay so 
Oh, one more thing. Um, Gregory LPs of the GLPs tobaccos uh, recently, a few days ago, uh, announced on Facebook that he's coming up with a new blend and, and a bond further poking around, you know, with other people, you know, especially um, the other tobacco blenders and uh, tobacco merchants on Facebook. Uh, what he, uh, the, the information he gave away after I teased him about that is that it's not a Latakia blend. So hopefully uh, something new will come really soon, maybe, you know, he, he said he's, he's been working on it since January, but they still have to follow protocol and all that stuff and testing and all this uh, things they have in the process. So hopefully, maybe next year, he's not announced the date, we'll have a new uh, blend from GLPs. Okay, finally, six, mu six minutes of blabbering and plugging. And we have, as you know from the title of the video, it's a Peterson. Ta-da! But what kind of Peterson is it? Is it an Ar Arishami Mount? Is it a Bulldog? Is it a Brandy? Is it a Billiard? What is it? Is it a Poker? Sitter? Black? White? Brown? Red? What is it? Is it a Shakespeare? Um, sorry, a Sherlock Holmes pipe? Shakespeare. <laughs> oh, I wish they made Shakespeare pipes. But anyways, so let's open it. Before we open it, I wanted to introduce to you, my friends, at cigarsindia.in. So, if you're visiting India and you run out of cigars or pipe tobacco, uh, they have a nice selection of cigars, actually. Uh, let me go to the website and see. Okay, so they have a ton of Cuban cigars, a ton of Dominican cigars, a ton of Honduran cigars, Nicaraguan cigars, Indian cigars, lots of accessories, little bit of pipe tobacco, and uh, these are the people. Um, hi, Joy, and Abhilash. I think I uh, I still remember your name right. Uh, it was a pleasure meeting you both. Yesterday, when you delivered me my Peterson, we had a long chat about tobacco. So we have, uh, we might, they, these guys might um, get me some good tobaccos. If you are watching this video, guys, get me some tobacco so I can review them. Otherwise, this channel is not going to work. Back to the Peterson. Okay. What do we have here? We have the sock and the pipe. And we have the literature, the Peterson guarantee. And we have the velvet sock and the pipe. It's a fish tail. Okay. Pause your video. Okay, pause the video and guess the name of the shape or the model or the series of the pipe before you proceed. Okay, after you do that, you can view my keep viewing the video. Here we go. Ta da! It's a plain Peterson around 150 with a fishtail. Very nice. Uh, I will be getting a silver ring uh, around 150 as well. It's a bulldog. Pre carbonized, pre, pre no, carbonized. It's very light. The draw is awesome. And this is the plain version available in the on the Peterson's website. Peterson.ie, I think so. Uh, the link again to the plain version is in the uh, description. Very nice pipe. I would break it. I would like to break in with the uh, 
smoky bastard. So let's do that really quick. I'll just fill it up. I actually got this bike yesterday and I wanted to make this video and share it with you before smoking it. So yes, pipe smoking uh, does make you patient, it does make you wait for the satisfaction. Uh, a little bit. Let me switch off the fan. There we go. Uh, matchsticks. Here we have. Up it up. It's still a little wet, but You can we see why I, they call it the smoky bastard. Very nice, very cool smoking tobacco. Anyways, um, moving on, not wasting any further time. Uh, please visit their website, cigarsindia.in. If you are in India, lots of good selections, lots of good tobaccos. Um, they are actually stocking uh, tobaccos. Mm. Unfortunately, the demand for pipe tobaccos is not that much in India, so you know they are being careful about it. But um, if any one of you guys watching this video is from India, you can switch from cigarettes, which basically hurt you a lot. Lots of addictive substance in it. Lots of additives. Switch to pipes. Out. Hmm. We'll talk about the smoky bastard later on. Anyways, guys. Thanks for watching the video. It was a pleasure sharing the smoky bastard and the pipe with you. And I'll talk to you again uh, in a few days. Still watching, huh? Well, you know now why is it called why it's called the smoky bastard. I might get a few Petersons. <laughs>